Today I'm painting in Corel Painter 2019. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here again. I'm going to do an oil painting in Corel Painter 2019 today. Um, this painting is really kind of a bit of a social statement. I was in a, uh, a bar restaurant called The Cozy Rooms. This was in Derby. Um, I think there's a few others up in, uh, definitely in the Midlands. I think there's one at Nottingham. And it really is a nice place, but what really struck me was in this really sort of um, very nostalgic looking room with really ornate decorating and wallpapers and hangings and pictures and things, where three guys sat down there and all they could look at were their mobile phones. And I just knew I had to paint it, so I... I sneaked out my uh, phone and um, I got Special K with me, my uh, lady friend and uh, best friend, and I sort of positioned her to sit so that I could pretend to take a picture of her, but I was really taking a photograph of these three guys because I didn't want them to say, Oi, what are you doing, taking our pictures and then come and punch me or anything like that. So I did, I did take a cheeky, sneaky picture of them. Um, because I wanted to paint this. Uh, so that's the, the story behind uh, why I'm painting it. And I wanted to do it in Corel Painter 2019 because I know that you can do some really uh, funky stuff with oil paints in Corel Painter 2019. But there are a few issues. One, if you look at uh, the, when I'm painting, every now and again, I get an horizontal line just flashes across the screen with paint. And I have to use the delete key to undo it there. It happened there. And uh, you'll see that happening over and over again. So there's something wrong with the drivers or uh, I don't know. It, it only happens in Corel Painter. It doesn't happen with any other app. And I wonder if it's anything to do with the uh, Windows Ink thing. I wonder if I, I need to in, uninstall that or something. I don't know. But there is an issue that I've got there that I need to... Uh, sort out that um, I haven't done yet because I'm just lazy I just want to get on with the painting and that driver there it goes again look uh, it is annoying but it's not so annoying that it stops me doing the painting I want to sort out the problem straight away so you can see in in uh, Corel Painter I've now uh, sorted out how to do a um have a minimum tools set of tools on the screen at any one time and i am sort of adjusting and playing with the uh, workspace i.e what toolbars i have open and what things are on the screen at any one time so throughout the painting this might change slightly um i was experimenting with um I think it's called it's called tools or something uh, where you can create different types of brushes or uh, just change the uh, um, settings of a brush slightly and then save that and I managed to lose all of those which was uh, unfortunate and I also if you notice at this point I can't tell you what the brushes are I'm using because I've not got anywhere on the screen uh, where it says uh, the brush I'm using. And it was only when I was looking at uh, somebody else's video that I realized that you could have the uh, name of the brush on the screen. And then you can sort of pop that menu open and choose other brushes as opposed to the uh, custom set of brushes I've selected together. So I'm still um, getting to grips with the interface, I guess, of Corel Painter 2019 and still feeling the way with the brushes and I'm definitely going to have to make my uh, some of my own brushes I've used um, two uh, different types I've used like the kind of standard oil paint brushes which are very similar to what you would get in Procreate or uh, Art Studio Pro or any app like that on on the uh, iPad and then I've used the thick paints to overpaint in places. And I would use that 
uh, uh, similar to the, the brushes that you would get in Art Rage. So it's a combination of those two types of brushes that I'm using throughout this painting. And I'm none of the brushes that I'm using so far work exactly how I would like them to work. Some of them put paint on. This is with the normal brushes. You can put paint on and um, you put another brush stroke next to it and it doesn't um, blend very well. It just sort of sits separately and uh, like the colour I'm putting on there, that's not mixing at all. And then I've got another brush that I've found which does do the mixing really nice. But the problem is, as soon as you've got any colour on at all, you, you can't seem to uh, put another colour over it. It just sort of um, makes the brush dirty as soon as you ch touch it on the canvas. So the brushes I'm finding really um, frustrating. I won't say difficult, frustrating to use at the minute. And I, I think I am going to have to start looking at making my own brushes and the thick paint if you zoom in here that uh, it's just too thick that is really uh, too thick so um, I work away at this painting you'll see I'm over painting uh, lots what I actually did at one point uh, I got so disheartened with the thick paint and everything I just exported the old picture as a PNG and then brought it back in again onto one layer i know i could have flattened everything but i just exported it into one layer and and brought it back in um and then started painting over the thick paint because it was too thick i, I do use thick paint eventually i get uh, i find a brush that i quite like or a few brushes and um i start using it again but the initial uh, first time i used it i um was struggling a lot this painting as you can see it's definitely nothing to do with uh, photo realism or getting something that looks close to real life it's much more uh, an impression uh, an impressionism or impressionistic is that a word uh, piece it, it's I, i'm not going for lifelike or detail i'm going for color and shapes and um so I'm working over the old painting all of the time, uh, jumping here, there and everywhere, uh, sort of putting in shapes that kind of roughly are some boxes and some books, uh, but there could be anything really. And I'm not too fussed. I don't care. I'm not trying to reproduce anything that is like uh, photographic. Uh, I am concerned about perspective to a, a, a certain extent, and I do sort of move things around and whatnot. But at the, you min at the minute, you can see it's all looking a little bit flat. I've got uh, very similar sort of tones over the whole of the painting. So that's something I'm going to have to work on at uh, some point. As you can see here, I'm roughing in uh, the... Um, faces of the people and now i'm putting in this little bush thing uh, and this is still with the the initial thick paint brush that i was setting up i still got no idea what brushes i'm using so i can't really be too helpful with that future videos i'm gonna have that nailed the next one i'll be fine with it because um i've as i've said i start messing about with the workspace i've got all of my brushes now all in one uh, tray if you like if you see there i've got the pastels the watercolor and the oils and i can just click between those really easily and a bit later on i'll i'll have the uh, toolbar that shows the name of the brush i'm using so it's going to be a lot easier in uh, future videos and i need to sort out that um that bug where it keeps putting strokes of paint diagonally across it doesn't happen on every brush quite a few brushes it, it does but uh, not all the time so if anybody has used Corel Painter and has had that problem uh, if you could let me know uh, how to solve it that would be 
really useful because I know I'm going to um, I'm I'm going to be ages before I get around to that. Now this is uh, I've come back a second day. This is the second day on the painting. I didn't spend a full day on it the first day, about half a day, and then I came back to it um, for the second day, and I've changed the brushes. And you can now see it's telling me what brush I'm using in the top left. And I'm using the grainy reel oil brush, I guess. And I'm using that uh, grainy reel oil brush to get in some thick paint. So I'm redoing the thick paint. And I'm sort of messing around with shapes, trying to get the perspective a little bit uh, better, getting the floor in there. I thought there was a bit of light coming under that chair, so I, I needed to get that in. And you can see, I'm what I've done, I've tried to use a blue light reflected off the three iPhones. I say iPhones, there may be Samsungs or any Android, really. Um, but the three mobile phones they're using or smart devices and i've reflected the light I've, I've exaggerated the light in the faces much more than uh, was in the photograph and i i go in a bit later on trying different things uh but i'll talk about that when we get to it so i'm much happier now with this thick paint and i'm going over uh, certain areas of the painting putting thick paint in changing uh, things slightly just tweaking them but it's still looking very flat i think the area on the left hand side at some point needs to be a little bit darker sort of knocking in a quick stag z there again just you know a few loose brush strokes nothing too defined in a little bit of detail into that painting and here we i create a new layer i set the blend mode to multiply and i start uh, adding some shadows in and i will knock the uh, opacity back as well and then i create another layer below the light and i set that blend mode to lighten to sort of um have this chandelier all it it, it occurred to me that it was just taking over though so then i create another layer over the top and then uh, just scumble on some color to that's an old decorating term by the way scumble where you put sort of a transparent glaze over uh, something and then i try the same thing with the white on the faces and uh, assign it leave it a bit and look at it and i definitely do not like the sort of light bit going on on the faces but i'll come back to that I, I just sort of put a few little highlights on that chandelier and i brighten up that chair as well i thought i need to just sort of make that area a bit bit lighter and there you can see i've turned off the layer with the white on the um faces and sort of put in the glow around them and then I start to paint that in and I just sort of pick some blues and just um, a little bit of purple in there and just flick them in add a little bit more detail put that cup on the table and just sort of uh, I thought that looked a lot na more natural and uh, which I put a, another darker shadow on the uh, uh, ceiling and a little bit around the chandelier just to knock that back all a little bit further and that is it that is my finished painting of a social statement of three lads looking at the mobile phones instead of admiring that ornate setting they're in anyway that's it i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because i have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.